All right. So shall we? Shall we do? Oh, we have such a wonderful selection of horrible. I think is this. I think we have an all guy. No, no, no. We have one one woman who is an idiot, but all the rest of them are guys. So almost had a clean sweep this week, but it was some, almost clean this week again. Almost someone had to blow the curve. Anyway, here we go. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And you know what? Y you started with penises. And you probably shouldn't have. Actually, I didn't. I was always a girl. No, well, no you said penis week. You, you went there. Okay. And you probably shouldn't have because, um... That's exactly our first destination tonight. It was bound to come up eventually. No, that's that's what she said. <laughs> Don't, yeah. Oh, it was right there. Low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit. That's what she said. We could do this all night. We could, and it's kind of sad. Penis tattoo. Already, I'm cringing. Yes. Penis. I heard about it. Penis tattoo causes permanent erection. Penis yeah. tattoo has left an Iranian man with a permanent semi-erection, according to the Journal of Sexual Medicine. This is a thing. There is a Journal of Sexual Medicine. Well, of course there is. How many stories do we do about people stuffing things in their nooks and crannies? Doctor There's got to be. Dr. James Brown Presiden. Get a get a get a uh, consult from specialist Marvin Gaye. <laughs> the twenty one you know, Dr. Ruth got Dr. Ruth's gotta work somewhere. Yeah, yeah I know. Maybe, you know. 21 year old man was afflicted with a condition after tattooing Persian script reading Barobi Salamat. Salamat. Good luck on your jerk. Good luck on your journeys. On his dick. Are, 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 is he wishing them luck on the journey on his dick? Or, or is he wishing, wishing them luck after they get off of it? Or is he wishing his penis luck on its journeys? Is it... Maybe it's detachable. Oh, God. The channel. Dax Strife. Godspeed, brave penis! Maybe that's true. Ramil says maybe maybe he's wishing his his spooge good luck on its journey. Oh, oh, that's just good swimming, little fellas. Good swimming. According to the Journal of Sexual Medicine, I still can't get over that. The tattoo artist created the tattoo using a handheld needle, which resulted in quote bleeding from deep penile tissues for several days, complicating the tattooing. Shunt surgery, which drains excess fluid, was attempted to correct the problem, but the procedure was unsuccessful. Since then, the man has rejected further treatments because he is still able to have sex and achieve a relatively normal erection. Based on this unique case, we discourage penile tattooing, the Iranian doctors wrote. In the I don't really get why that's a thing. Like, I'm sure everybody's seen the, the picture that's been on the internet of the years of the guy who had his penis tattooed like a dragon. <laughs> Tell me you've seen it. I have this. not. I don't it want to. It has wings to. on his, like, pelvis. I'll have to find it and link it. I mean, you won't be able to show it on air because it's an enormous erect dragon penis, but... Yeah. <laughs> but I don't I'll get be, I'll never be able to watch The Hobbit. I'll, I'll be going to see The Hobbit this Christmas. And the smile will come on the screen, and all I'll see is dick. <laughs> oh, God, I, don't show me this. Like, I just, I don't get why you would want to do that to your naughty bits. Why? Like, I get a lot of things. I just... It, Here we go. I got it. No, I don't want to... I ain't look, look, no, that's look. the small one. We need the big one. <laughs> that's the small yeah, penis. We, we need the big one. We need the large... The small picture. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh God! I will, I will deliver Puff the Magic Penis to you. <laughs> I ain't looking at it. You can deliver all you want. I ain't looking at it. Oh yeah, you are. Don't ruin dragons for me, woman. 
Don't you? It's in the channel. Everybody click. It's going to be amazing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but you know what? You know what? Game of Thrones is now ruined for you. No, it's not. Because I'm not as easily traumatized as you. So you, you don't see her with little three little flying penises around her now because of the dragon? No, because I've seen this picture for years. Uh, I was aware of this picture for a very long time and, you know, whatever. I just, I, if you... If Do not put it up on screen. You cannot put it up on screen. No, I'm not. If, if You will get thrown off the air and stuff. If you're... If what what is this? If your if your pe if your tattoo causes an erection lasting for more than four hours, see your doctor. What the fuck? And who the hell did this to him in the first place? I don't know. Like, and that's what I wonder. Like, why? I gotta be honest. Like, as a girl, if if you're out with a guy, and he drops trow, and there's elaborate ink work there not impressed and here's the thing it's gonna shrink like do you think about that do you think about what yeah. it's gonna look like shrunk and <laughs> expanded because you should because you should i mean because he got a phrase like what does that phrase read when he's not excited maybe he's lucky he has a permanent erection because maybe it would read like fuck you and your mother how is this my demographic? How is I'm how saying. is th this is my th did I did I kill someone in a did I kill did I shoot Kennedy in in a former life? Is that is that what happened? This is my baby. Uh, well, let's get to something a little more a little less penisy. <laughs> I, I I got no segue there. Just something with less dick. But still pretty oh, crazy. I have no chance with Tara now. Sorry, sweetie. Th this is I, from uh, Lafayette, Indiana. Um, a North Central Indiana man accused of auto theft also faces charges alleging he threatened to eat his arresting officer. Um... Let's see, arresting officer, their entire families, and their police dogs. The Journal and Courier reports 39-year-old Paul M. Brock of Frankfurt was charged Wednesday with auto theft, resisting law enforcement, intimidation, and operating a vehicle while intoxicated. He remains in jail on a $25,000 bond. Lafayette police arrested Brock last Friday using police dogs to subdue him after he allegedly stole a car from a gasoline station. A short time later, Brock allegedly told officers at a hospital he would hunt them down and eat them, their families, and their dogs. Police said Brock had a blood alcohol content more than three times Indiana's legal limit. There are ways to speak to your arresting officer to try and get yourself out of trouble. You can try and ingratiate yourselves to them. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're feeling really lucky, you can offer them sexual favors. It probably won't work. No. You probably shouldn't threaten to eat them no. or their families or their, you know, pets or such. Like, that's, that's not going to make them like you more. That's not going to no. make them like that's just gonna make them angry. I mean, wait, wait, who's gonna re respond positively to you know what? You've arrested me. Oh, I shall devour you. Oh, I didn't realize you were a cannibal. Go on your way, sir. I know it, 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 it's not. It's cannibalism. The threat of cannibalism. I don't think in any point in history has ever been a force for diplomacy. I, I don't think that's ever been, you know, I, I don't think at World War II, when they were on the boat signing the, the, the treaty, you know, I don't think anyone invoked, you know what, I'm going to hunt down your family and eat them. I don't think that happened there. It might have, <laughs> but probably not by the winning side. No, no, no. I, I don't see General MacArthur, you know, I'm going to eat every single last one of you guys. Maybe after the treaty was signed. Maybe that's like the victory dance. 
<laughs> Somebody said, is this the plot of Brad's next review? <laughs> yeah, it could be. I could see. This is probably someone's writing this movie right now for Z-grade cinema. Just for see, cinema snob weird to is, review. Like, people hear cannibalism and they, you know, you go to Hannibal Lecter, but my brain also goes to the Book of Eli because that movie was in cable rotation for a long time and I yeah. saw it like 16 times. And how people get shaky when they eat too much people. Did you see that? I did not see this. The, the two old people who were named George and Martha, like the cartoon hippos, because George Washington and his wife Martha really liked hippos, so there's like a hippo statue at George Washington University. Total tangent, but whatever. George and Martha ate too much human meat, so they were all shaky and stuff. And Yeah. What the hell just happened? Oh, I can bring anything back How to the hippos. How did we get <laughs> here? How did we get here? Lost or the X Files, I can bring it all back. How did we get? I just and the dogs, really, the dogs too. I know, and your little dog too. Because just uncalled uh, for. Well, not the dogs. Don't eat the dogs. The dog didn't. Uh, well, the dog technically did do something to you. He helped you get arrested, but still. Well, here's here's our one woman this week who I. Holding it up for the ladies. Oh, God damn. Woman goes 18 miles on wrong side of interstate. This is from Tacoma, Washington. Authorities said a Washington woman drove nearly 18 miles the wrong way on a highway at 100 miles per hour. Wow. And the first thing that popped into my head, I bet it's the first thing that popped into your head, too. You're going the wrong <laughs> way! You're going to kill, kill somebody! This is the first Actually, thing the I that went through my head is, how many lines in the chat do we have before somebody's like, women drivers, am I right? And the answer was not many. Not many. I am very disappointed in okay. all of you. I am disappointed. The 60-year-old Olympia woman drove in the southbound lanes of I-5 around 2 a.m., nearly hitting a truck driver, Rick Ingram. He knew something was wrong when he saw drivers flashing their lights at him, which caused him to pull out of the fast lane. No sooner did, did I do that, a white little sedan-like vehicle comes flying by me in what would be my outside lane. Wow. Trooper, trooper said the woman top speeds 100 miles per hour uh, during her drive. State Patrol stopped the woman by closing I-5 at the main gate. Appeared to investigators she had been drinking and taking prescription medication. She didn't even know she was on the freeway at first. She couldn't grasp that had happened. Oh my god. Don't drink and drive, people. That's pretty bad. I have been facing the wrong way on a highway once. Because my car slipped on a patch of ice. And I fishtailed like three times. I don't know how I didn't get hit or hit anybody else. It's a like it's a serious for reals miracle. Fishtailed a bunch of times, then did a complete 180 and wound up facing the wrong way, right next to the Jersey barrier. Do you always have an anecdote for these? That that's And I don't know how I didn't hit anything. I don't know how nothing hit me, but I sat there, I was on my way to work, so I called work and was like, I'm gonna be a little late because I have to figure out how to bust a Yui on the three-lane highway during rush hour. But first, I have to have a heart attack. So, you know. But give me I, a few. I just... I I would have hated to have just be the people out there. You have to wonder if she, she was thinking. She was like, all these people are horrible drivers. <laughs> Everybody's going the wrong way. What's wrong with these people? Get on your own side of the road. Yeah. At 100 miles an hour, she had somewhere she goddamn needed to be, apparently. But she doesn't know where. She doesn't know. She didn't even know. She, don't drink and drive. Just don't Maybe do she it. was, like, possessed or something. <laughs> no, I think, I, think, I think demons can drive better than this. 100 Yeah, because the expression drive like a demon definitely means obeying all traffic laws. They might. They're, they're sticklers about contract law. You know this. I'm just, I'm happy nobody got hurt because this could have been horrible. Yeah. I'm happy nobody got hurt because now I can talk about it on my show. 
<laughs> yeah, if 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 you know, like she killed sixteen people, yeah, then that would be bad, yeah, and we wouldn't be laughing about it. Look, if you're on, if if you are on prescription medication, just don't drink. Drinking is always optional, always, absolutely, always. Alcohol is optional. Okay, well, I'm on prescription medication. I drink, but I think it's more like if you're drinking, don't drive. Yes, that too. Or if you're on prescription medication that impairs you and drinking, don't drive. I think, but there, you know, I wonder, like, there, you've heard of like Ambien craziness, right? Yeah. I think we've actually talked about this before that like people take Ambien. Yeah. And they do shit that they don't remember ever doing. Yeah. That they're not aware of doing. People like well, sleep drive. The other, like, the other part of it is the other part of it is getting people to read the directions. We can't even get these people to read the FAQ. And it's right there. So, you know, I can't even get these people you expect people to read the shit on their bottles. Uh, and those have like long words and stuff. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. All right. This has got one of my favorite phrases ever in the next story. I love headlines that include this phrase because it just it it evokes such a wonderful picture in your head and yet such a horrible picture at the same time. Pro skateboarder ordered to pay hotel 3000 for damage from naked rampage. I had a feeling that would be the, the phrase. I have never seen in my life a naked rampage. I'm almost I think, curious. I think Naked Rampage opened up for the Rectaleals on one of their first tours. Oh, bringing it on back. Kicking it old me. school. Kicking it old school. That was like six months ago when we were like the old school. <laughs> I know, but nobody here knows what I'm talking about no. except for the oldies. Yeah. So, you know. I just... I, I, Pro Skateboarder was sprung from jail today after promising to pay back the nearly $3,000 in damage he caused during a... A, a nutty, nutty... A nutty naked... Now, here's the question. Are they implying he was crazy, or is that a bad pun? <gasps> oh, God. Um, Or both. This is even better. Listen to this guy. I love this quote. I became something other than myself, a soft-spoken, tattoo-bedecked Jerome Rogers explained with a laugh. Quote, I became something like the Hulk. He'd been caught on the morning of January 5th rampaging nude in the hotel hallway. They just keep like saying you. rampage. I know. I roared and I rampaged and I got bloody satisfaction. <laughs> He pled guilty to misdemeanor criminal mischief for admittedly smashing and tearing at three paintings he'd yanked off the walls. They were nice, he said of his Rikers companions. Not all the people in jail are bad. Well, that's good to know. They're so that's, gentle that's and shit. He's like, oh, the guys, yeah, the guys in jail, they were, they were cool. They were cool. Um, I was not on angel dust, by the way, he told reporters. I was a little bit, though I was incoherent. Uh, it was a little bit of drinking, and a girl that I was drinking with gave me two pills she said were hangover pills. But they weren't. I don't know what they were, actually. Okay, yeah, don't take pills from strangers, kids. Don't. Never. Because it's like, it's like candy from a white van. Nothing good is going to yeah, happen. Yeah, no. Like, girls are taught don't drink a drink that you didn't see made and, you know, all that stuff. But I think in general... As humans, we can agree. Don't fucking take pills from strangers. I just love the picture of this guy, though. If it's just, that could be anything. He's just so happy. He's like, hey, okay, guys, yeah. Naked Rampage. Woo! She Woo! can totally be like, here, take these hangover pills. They're cyanide tablets. She's like the girlfriend of the other skateboarding rookie of the year. Dude, he could be, yeah. This guy could totally be dead right now. Could be something you're allergic to. Don't, don't do that. Just, you know, like, don't. <sighs> and now we have some Japanese crazy. Well, actually, I don't know if this is This is just bad learning. And I'll actually talk about this because Hope has talked to me about this. Is our children learning? Not this one. Lost in translation, Japanese department store makes groveling apology after plastering oh, shop with, with fucking sale posters. 
Mortified bosses of a Japanese apartment store were forced into a groveling apology after plastering their windows with signs boasting a, quote, fucking sale. It's a fucking sale. The gallery shop in Osaka hung giant red signs emblazed with the term over their window display, as well as throughout the shop to emphasize just how good they thought their January sale was. The unfortunate slogan was meant to be a pun on Fukobukuro, or Lucky Bags, relating to the Japanese New Year retail custom of selling off discounted unwanted stock from the previous year in grab bags. Obviously, the pun was lost on English-speaking visitors to the store. While they were amused by the unsubtle example of the language barrier, others complained. And here's the picture here. This, this, and it's censored here, but it wasn't censored in the store. That's what, yeah, if you were American in Osaka, or you spoke English, you, you, uh... That's what you saw. Now, here's the problem. Come to our fucking sale. Come to the fucking sale. Now, number one, the misunderstandings here could have been glorious. You selling fucking? 20% off all fucking? Really? Where's the line? Show me the line. But here's, here's the problem with English in Japan. The reason English happens... All, all this, all the English, all that happens, yeah, 50% on orgies, yeah. Um, the reason all this happened is because they teach English the way they teach Japanese, except the two languages are structured. Yeah, isn't the grammar structure right. completely different? Yep, but it's cheaper and easier to teach it the wrong way than it is to actually work them through. The How is that cheaper way. and easier when it's got to be really ineffective? It's not the effective they're they give a crap about. It's just, are they learning English? Sort of. But they're Good not enough. learning English. No, they're not. They're not. They're not learning English. They're not. But they're doing it the wrong way because it's good enough. Do they know what, they know what the words mean? When did Japan become an American state? <laughs> oh damn I don't remember annexing them I know but they're teaching it the same way we do <laughs> but no it's it they're start so this is why English happens it have it's all the time because they're trying to use our language with a different structure and let me tell you English not easy for foreign people to learn no because it's it, there's there's a little graphic that gets posted to Facebook every now and then that like English is the language that just beats up other languages in alleys and steals oh, yes. pieces, like steals their lunch money because it's made up of all kinds of shit it's like a fucking awful hobo stew of other languages and then you get the homonyms and the synonyms and the not really words that are words and it's a nightmare I would not want to be a foreign person trying to learn English because really it makes no logical sense and, and and on the other hand, you do end up with beautiful things like this, with this this glorious fucking sale. <laughs> I I would have gone into that store. I'm not gonna lie. I would have been like, hey, they're having a fucking sale. Gone in. I would have taken the sign. Let's out check front. out that fucking sale. You see that sign there in the lower left hand corner of that picture? Gone. That would have been mine. I was taking. I take that shit home. <laughs> Everybody would be coming in just to take the fucking sales. Out. I want mine. <sighs> I love the. Oh, apparently, um, a foul-mouthed well, American chef has claimed he may have inspired yeah. the gaffe after opening a branch of his restaurant in Yokohama, where a sign advertised "fucking fresh lemonade" and "fucking fresh and delicious food." Classy. Yeah. What would be funny, though, is if they were selling, like, really, really genteel, like, if they were selling, like, fucking Precious Moments figurines and Thomas Kincaid paintings and, like, little You want this pieces. fucking Thomas Kincaid? <laughs> you know you want this fucking cherished teddy. It's fucking 20% off. Like, <laughs> why is this so funny? I, I don't know, but it is. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, 
And one more tonight. Okay. Normally I say, men brace yourselves, or women brace yourselves. But tonight, one night only, everybody brace yourself. Everybody. <sighs> this one is... I, I'm... I'm I wonder if you can figure out what's happening here based on the, uh, finish this sentence. Oh, dear. Editor's note, I love, just before we even get to the story, editor's note, some readers might find the contents of this post offensive. Oh, my God. A man who was pulled over for a traffic violation in North Carolina this week was found with a gun in his jail cell. A big gun. This gun. That authorities believe he hid in his rectum. I've got to put this on the big screen. The whole thing? Like, not just the barrel? Because, damn. The whole thing. Just look. Everybody take that in. Just... Take it in, kids. Wow. All up in there. The man, identified as Michael Leon Ward, 22, of Canton, Georgia, uh, was in the Os Onslow County, North Carolina jail after his arrest Monday morning. Uh, he is awaiting extradition to Georgia, where he is wanted on a fugitive warrant in murder in investigation. But that's not why you're reading this. I love the guy in this article. You want to know about the gun. That's in, the, that's in the article. That's in the fucking... I love this. He even... This guy is resigned. I'm writing... They, they apprehended a murder suspect, but you don't care about that, do you? You just want to know about the gun in his ass, don't you? He's just pissed that's off. Big gun, that's dude. A big gun. And it's, it looks rusty. So he almost definitely has tetanus. Now... Only later did they find the gun, a 38 caliber revolver, the four and a half inch barrel. While while it wasn't loaded, it worked just fine when officers loaded a bullet and test fired it. Worst job ever! Worst job. Worst. Oh, God. And someone in the channel, yeah, Lothar says, that's not rust. That's not It rust. might be. It might. We're hoping it is. We're hoping. And here's the here's the guy's picture. I hate doing this, but dude, you put a gun up your ass. This is forevermore. This is what you're going to be known as. This guy. I just I mean At least it wasn't loaded. That's I'm trying to find the bright side here. Really? Just how though? How? I don't care which direction. There. I, I, I love. Okay, all right. Um, jailers also made Ward perform what they called a squat and cough procedure. Only later did they find the gun. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, according to uh, Highway Patrol incident, the man stopped Ward as, after he passed them, going more than ninety miles per hour. I know why he had a gun in his butt. Well, here's the thing. If I had a gun in my butt, I'd be driving 90 miles per hour, too. Presumably, he had that painfully large gun shoved up his rectum. For just for such an occasion. For a reason. You have to think it'd be because he'd be using it at some point. <laughs> so now I'm kind of picturing Jack Black in Tropic Thunder, like, struggling to pull that gun out of his little diaper. Except a way, way, way bigger gun that's not loaded that you now have to use covered in whatever else was in your ass at the time. <laughs> so many questions. Really, though, so... my main question is, seriously, how did you get a gun that big up your plate? Like, <laughs> how do you have any bowel control at all if you're able to shove something that large up your... like? I am out of words and I'm just going to sit here and hug my hippo because so many questions 
so many questions like i'm sure there's a porn that will answer them all for us and you know he's not just a member of the ky club for Pants men. to be darkened <laughs> oh he's not just a member of the ky club for men he's also the president there is just there is just not enough ky you think i, I don't know I mean, no actually because it's got a gun has got like pointy and sharp bits and it's got the, Look sight at the size of that, that gun yes and it's got wide it's like parts. It's like the fucking cult from Supernatural. Everyone, okay, what's happening right now is everyone is trying to work out the logistics. And as they are, their butthole is clenching tighter and tighter as they're trying to be like, okay, well, first you do the barrel and oh, no, no. Okay, maybe you do the handle. Oh, no, no. Every time. They wow. get to some way. Your audience are really, really big nerds because someone was just like, oh, well, his ass is the tar TARDIS. <laughs> even I look, didn't I, go there. Even look, I don't even I, watch that show and just leave the poor doctor out of this, okay? Like, yes. Like, I, <laughs> he wow. deserve that. He does. We've hit a new low. And that's really saying something. Everyone is everyone who can hear my voice right this moment is clenching. Just oh, God. okay. So yes, so yes, it's the tard ass. Yes, can we stop? No, no. So what did we learn this week? Um. Well, we learned that if you huh. if you really need an erection. <laughs> Viagra yeah. is probably a better option than a penis tattoo. And if yeah. you're going to get a penis tattoo, consider carefully because if you're going to get a phrase, keep in mind that that phrase is going to read the same all the time. Be aware. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're giving advice on how to I tattoo think that's your dick. important advice. Yes, apparently we learned that I need to learn how to drift so that next time my car fishtails on the highway on some ice. I can just fucking furious, fast and furious that shit. Yeah, actually, this is the, like a boss. All right. All right. This is this is a life lesson. If you are dry, if everyone else is driving the wrong direction. <laughs> chance... In most cases, when it's you against everybody, the problem isn't everybody else. There you go. This is oh, my God. This is like the most beautiful analogy right there. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, that's like some Zen shit. I love it. It's not. It's real. I know what Zen stuff is. I'm just being an asshole. Stop. In most cases, though, you know, when it's you against the world, the world probably ain't a problem. No. I'm just saying. Like, if you're, if everyone else is going the other way than you on the highway, you're probably the one going the wrong well, way. Well, it depends. The probability you know, just doesn't support the opposite. It depends. Civil rights, the world is probably the problem. Driving on the cases. highway. Driving on the highway. No, you're, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's one of those. Um, I think we've learned that Naked Rampage is one of, it, that's kind of like the headline. We learned that that's one of your favorite phrases, which concerns me some. It's, have you ever seen one? I never have. The no fact comment. that this is a thing. No cough. The fact that this is a thing. I'm just, yeah. You have to wonder. It's, how are you surprised that this is a thing? You, How long have we been doing this? Okay, naked, yes. But naked rampage. Yes. Just the combination. <laughs> I think, actually, I think for the last year, newspaper reporters were probably thrilled because I think they like the phrase, too. It keeps showing up in the headlines. I think they like it. It's probably like a thing among the journalism community. Like when they get together at their at their conventions, they sit there and talk about how many times they've gotten to use that phrase. Like they probably have like unofficial bets about it and everything. It is kind of a fabulous phrase. It really it's kind of amazing. Um we've learned that the best way to deal with with police is not you know, you, you can talk to them. You can reason with them. You don't threaten to eat them, their family, and the dog. And the dog. And the little dog, too. Yeah, yes. it's probably not going to improve your situation, at the very least. Like, and, they're, and the they're not going to like you better. And even if they're terrified, 
they're not going to let you go because that what? would also be a crime. Yeah, if, eating people. yeah, if they let you go, you're going to eat them, their families and their dogs and them. You're not giving them a real incentive here. Mm -mm. This is not this. And not that's the key to negotiation. You have to give the other party an incentive to see things your way. And I will eat you. So you say you'll eat me and my family. Mm. Mm, I, you know, I wasn't with you until you threw in the family. But now, now we're cooking with gas. Oops, did I say cooking? Oh my goodness. Oh. And uh, finally, we learned you can apparently put an entire 38 caliber 4 inch gun in your ass. I can't. I'm not going to try. It's humanly possible, apparently. I, I, I'm not a big fan of guns and, you know, whatever. If your audience wants to try and let us know how it goes, you kids have fun with that. Um, yeah, you want to be on the show? Here's a fast way. Good luck with bowel control after that. Um, and make sure it's not loaded, for the love of God, because holy crap, I will not be responsible for anybody's exploded rectum. Their farts because of will, this bit. Their farts will never make noise again. Hmm. Oh, great. Someone's like, oh, I'll totally do that. No, don't do that. I'm kidding. Please don't do that. Please don't shove a gun up your ass. And if you do, don't fucking send me pictures because I don't want them. I, no. You want me to put a gun up my ass? I'll Just, put a gun up my ass. I'll totally. What, what, what kind of you want? Automatic revolver? I'll put one right up my fucking butt. What kind of gun you want? Any kind of gun you want. <laughs> I, I feel like we need a palate cleanser now. Oh, 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 how, how is that a palate cleanser? <laughs> Because you know what I'm envisioning right now? He's begging you to stop. Stop putting a gun up his ass, Tara. Stop putting huh? a... He's, he's begging you to stop. Stop putting a gun up the hippo's ass. Oh, 